In this video, we will be discussing how to um, use the chart extension in Airtable to create charts and graphs in our base. So um, we're going to go ahead and add the extension. So it's going to be, again, one of the first ones. Um, and once you add it, it's going to give you the configuration pane um, to let you choose how you want to set up your charts. So first, you're going to choose a table and a view. So um, I'll pick the tasks table and all of the tasks um, in the task grid. Um, again, the, the views are really useful for filtering down exactly what values you want to include in this chart. So um, it may be even be useful to create specific views for your you know, particular chart that you want to display so that you know exactly what is um, what values are going into the chart. Next, you'll choose the chart type. So um, you can do a bar chart, a line chart, a scatter plot, a pie chart, or a donut chart. Um, and <clears throat> the configuration setup for each of those is um, usually going to be mostly the same. So you're going to choose the x axis. So this is going to be a field um, from your table that makes sense for the x axis. You can do a date. Um, you can do um, the, the really cool thing about dates is that you can actually bucket them based on the day, week, month, quarter, year, day of week, month of year, quarter of year, um, which is super useful when you want to create more um, higher level pictures of what your you know date fields are showing you. Um, however, for the rest of them, um, it's going to be pretty basic in terms of you just choose the um, field as the x-axis and then you choose whether or not to include empty cells so if there are values or there are records that don't have a status it will include those in this count um, and then whether or not to show the x-axis label so as you can see when I undid that the status at the bottom um, disappeared so next you will choose the order that you want these to be displayed in so um, you can order them based on the actual values or the actual um, x-axis um, categories that you have here. So um, and again, these are going to be in progress, complete, behind, blocked in the same order that they are in this single select field. So if you wanted to rearrange how those were ordered, all you would do would be to um, rearrange them there. And then you can see it changed the order of them on the chart. So I'll move that back. And then um, you can do it based on the X value or you can do it based on the Y value. So if you do it based on the Y value, it's going to give you this nice, um, you know, slanted chart depending on the order, whether you do ascending or descending values for that order of Y values. So if the last part is going to be the Y axis. Um, choosing whether you want to summarize based on the count of records that fall in it, into each of these categories on the x-axis or whether you want to summarize based on uh, a summarization function for one of the fields inside of that um, table. So if we wanted to, instead of counting the number of records in each status, we wanted to figure out how many, what was the estimated hours um, summed for each of these um, tasks in each of these status. All we do, all we would do, is change our, you know, y-axis to be a field. Choose our field um, value from this drop-down, and then choose which summarization function we want to use for um, the y values. And then you can group by owner um, or anything else to sort of give you um, a more um, granular breakdown of, for each status, what, who, you know, for example, in this case, who is um, the owner for each of these tasks in each of these statuses to sort of break it out a little bit more granularly for you. You can choose to show the legend or not show the legend, and you can choose whether to stack these rather than have them show up um, side to side, um, which is useful depending on you know what kind of chart you want to create. And then finally, you have the option to show or not show the y-axis label as well. So that is the charts. Um, extension in Airtable. Stay tuned for the next video.